As we often say at our support meetings, we are sorry you are here, but we're glad that you found us. Today marks an I mean, I'm definitely grieving, but like nowhere near where I would like to feel. Even though it's, we're just hit eight weeks, my family's like, you stay over right now. Like with Thanksgiving coming up, like today I ordered, um, thank you. <laughs> today I ordered flowers for her with like a little butterfly in them and they're purple and white because that's really significant to us. And I, he said, come down now. And I said, why? And he said, it's not good. So I hit my call button and I think I was maybe screaming, help. Some nurse came in, it wasn't my nurse. And I was like, I have to get to Minicu now. My daughter is crashing. And my nurse thankfully came in and the other nurse was like, we have to call her doctor. And I was like, we don't have time for this shit. Like, get me down there now. I was getting angry. I was sobbing. I was, I was awful. I was bleeding everywhere because you're not supposed to get up. I'm in so much pain that she literally kind of like scooped me up and like put me in the chair. Someone else, I don't even know who grabbed my IV pole and I'm like, run, like run. I was praying to God, like, please let Brenly live. Please let Brenly live. And we get down there and there's like, Oh, just a wall of NICU people, like blocking my daughter's incubator. And I'm like... And she sees me first and she says, she died, didn't she? I was like, no. Because I saw his face and he's just like... And I was like, she died. She died and I missed it. And he's like, no, she didn't die. And the doctor comes over and she's like, she's really not doing good. Um, I don't know what else to do. And Heather kept telling me, like, we have to let her go. And I was like, no, we can't let her go. We have to try. We have to fight. The doctor was like, you're not letting her go. She's gone. You're keeping a tube in her that's not doing anything. And it's just making her uncomfortable. And they, I don't even remember the tubes coming out. Yeah, we didn't see her face before, and so I finally go to see her face, and she looks just like my daughter. Identical. So, um, we, uh, have this box to put all her stuff in. It's not going to be big enough. We'll have to get another one. We have, uh, lots of memories, even though it was a really short time, and... We went back up to my room and we, me and Tyler got into bed with her and we held her. And when you get this hope box, it comes from a support group called Empty Cradle. And there's a lot of information on it. And one of which that we found the most hopeful is a Facebook page. Empty Cradle, we've been around since 1982. Support is definitely the point. Um, it's all about peer support. All of the volunteers or parents who have gone through a loss, uh, they're providing support either through phone services or support meetings. Yeah, as you guys both said, I don't feel like anybody cares. We care. Mm -hmm. But it's like the people are so like, that I thought would care the most, like my mom, my dad. <laughs> my dad had a stillborn son. He would have been like, I think 40 now. I do volunteer work for Empty Cradle. I typically attend most of the support meetings, not only for myself, but to you know help other families, specifically dads, because I feel like that's kind of an area where there needs to be a lot more emphasis on. Um, and then Mother to Mother program is really about um, you know families who are in the hospital um, and uh, reach out for, for support, I'll actually go visit them in the hospital. We had a support person come from Empty Cradle and talk to us, and he explained to us that it's actually one in four, and we were shocked. We had no idea. We thought like we were some rare case. The nurses were like, no, like we have NICU babies die all the time, and we have stillborns all the time. And I was like, what? Like, this is a thing? Like, I. We just had no idea. The numbers basically say one in four um, women will experience a pregnancy or infant loss in their lifetime. 
Um, I think that it may be a little higher than that because a lot of women don't even realize that they're pregnant. And so we could be looking at more like a 35 to 40% of pregnancies that are lost. Justin from Empty Cradle, he came and spoke with us and um, it was really nice to talk to someone that actually knew how I was feeling. Because family, you know, they say, oh, I'm so sorry for what you're going through, I understand. You don't. You... It's so cliched, this, I'm sorry for your loss, right? That's what everybody says. And that's what you're gonna be told a million times over again, even to this day. Um, but you know, after getting out that, I, I literally said, I'm here for the next five minutes or five hours but I'm here to listen to you, to support you, for you to ask me questions, um, for me to give you advice for whatever you need. So uh, kick me out whenever you want, um, or you know, I'll stay for as long as you need. The loss of a child is, I think, the hardest thing anyone would have to go through. And I don't think people know that because no one talks about it. No one wants to say, I lost my baby because um, it's it's very hard. I've heard some people say that they didn't do a service or a memorial. They said that it was such, so short and they don't think anyone would have cared. So they didn't even do anything. And then that's hard on the parents because they want to celebrate their child's life, but they because it's not talked about, they think people wouldn't care. Like. How could you not care about my daughter? Like, she was here for two days. She was here on Friday and she was here on Saturday. And I will do everything to make sure that her life mattered. Even if it was short, her life mattered. She was born at 3.54 on September 14th in the afternoon. And she died on September 15th at 4.02 a.m. There were more. Two, one, one. We love you, Brindley. <laughs> I think I'll always wish there were more. Our biggest event is our Walk to Remember. The point of that event is to make memories after, you know, remembering our babies, saying our babies' names. Uh, we release doves. Um, it's just a really beautiful event. My name is uh, John Redhouse, and this is the Empty Cradle 2018 Walk to Remember. Um, this is my wife, Rachel, and we are both the directors of Empty Cradle. I'm also the loving father of Jonathan Taylor Leroy Cash Redhouse and Baby Redhouse, and I'm here to take steps for those that never could. John and I found Empty Cradle through a friend in 2010, seven years after the loss of our son, JT. Empty Cradle and the people we met became a source of support, strength, hope, and love. Through the years, John and I have dedicated our time to volunteering with Empty Cradle. The legacy that we leave behind for our children is built from the support we are able to provide to newly bereaved families. We are here today to remember our babies that we have lost and forever hold in our hearts. We grieve for their lives and the future they would have had. Today, we walk and remember them with every step that we take. I brought, I brought, you, I brought you a little something, something, player. We are completely overwhelmed by your courage, your bravery, the support, and all of your guys' strength. You guys are all amazing people. And we feel very, very fortunate to be a part of such an incredible group of people, unfortunately, for, for these circumstances. Each day will get better, just know that. Continue to stay strong and lean on people when it gets a little bit too tough. Now let's go honor those amazing, amazing babies that we lost way, way too soon. Here's to you, Michaela, we love you. Thank you guys. Buck and Carly Kelly. Brinley Faith Kennard. Allison Celeste. Kernosek, Angela Hannah Kindig, Carter James Kindig, Joseph Louis King, Sage Kleinider, Noah Kukla, 
Aurora Lacey Labonet, Daisy Junior Lang, Matthew Larby, Alexis Michelle Latimer, Thomas Laura, Baby Law, Elijah William Lebrun, Jacob Lesh, Poppy Joy Levy, Cole Owen Lewis, Evan J. Lopez Martinez, Baby Macias, Charlotte Ann Maddie, Natalia Isabel Mahoney. 